Hey, what's going on guys? It's Modix back with another video and in today's video I am bringing you guys the official release notes of season 2 update of the cycle so hopefully this video does let you guys know what to expect in tomorrow's update because season 2 of the cycle will be coming on february the 6th as you guys can see right here but scrolling down we're gonna first start with what we get in this release so to start we get a brand new map which they've already had playtest for and this is map 2 crescent falls which it looks amazing guys and if you haven't already played it you guys are definitely going to want to hop into some games of it here are a few images of what the map looks like the graphics in it is insane and i have loved this map ever since i first played it and then moving on we basically are going to skip this for right now because we get a brand new fortuna pass and guys we already released a video on this so at the end of this video there's going to be an info card on the top right hand corner of the screen that you're going to be able to go check out so be sure to go do that but just one thing to keep in mind whenever you are purchasing aram in the item shop be sure to use code modix because it helps us out a ton and we greatly appreciate it but what this fortuna pass includes is two new archetypes the troublemaker and the core left paladin so this is an image of the troublemaker that we get and then scrolling down you guys can see the core love paladin this is like some mechanical robot that just looks so sick and it is gonna be later on in the battle pass or fortuna pass you get the troublemaker first then the core left paladin but you don't get this suit until you reach the level 90s around there in the fortuna pass and then another cool thing that we have is now drop pod skins where you can customize your drop pods and make them look super sick and then we also have grav bike skins so we get three skins in it which look amazing and i can't wait to add this customizable option to my grav bike and make it look super sick as i'm just rolling through crescent falls so moving on we can see that along with this we also get new challenges to try to level up our fortuna pass and guys tomorrow right when the season releases we will have an updated challenge guide to help you guys get those weekly challenges done as quickly as possible along with any season two update information you guys need be sure to come and check out the channel because we're going to be releasing a ton of videos on season two so just be stay tuned have your notifications on so that you don't miss an upload so moving down on the patch notes we find gameplay miscellaneous and other quality of life changes so i'm not going to go through all of these i'm just going to go through the most important ones so the thing at the top is probably one of the coolest ones we can now sprint while reloading so you don't have to slow down to reload your weapon it's just going to help a ton trying to go for those high VP games because you don't really have to worry about slowing down. And then below that, we have ranked mode changes. So now you're going to be able to see the exact rank points of your friends. And if you are a top player, you should now be able to see the global leaderboard exact rank, rank points. So this way, you know how many rank points you have to get in order to become that top rank. And then we also have random matchmaking text made clear. So as you guys know, matchmaking is not based on your skill. It's just random right now. So, I mean, they just wanted to make it clear. And then there's also, they just adjusted the rank mode multiplier and it just influences the amount of points you will receive, especially in the higher ranks while playing in lobbies with a lower average rank. So basically, if you're one of those top ranks, you're going to get even less points if you're playing against worse players. And that's how it should be. I mean, you don't want to just keep on grinding up those levels. And then moving on, another huge change were the interaction timer changes. So now Letium Gas, whenever you're stealing a refiner, it's reduced from 4 seconds to 2 seconds. So it's a lot faster. And then weapons and abilities, the pickup time is reduced from 1 second to 0.3 seconds. So it's almost automatic which is really nice if you're in a rush, if you want to rush into a fight, but you want to pick up a weapon and ability quickly, all you have to do, drop it down, pick it up, and go rush in. Then moving on, I know that some people are really happy about this change. 
its requeue is not available in ranked mode a ton of people lost point for automatically requeuing and that is not the case anymore now only in normal game modes will you see a requeue option so if you aren't a ranked player and you are just playing normal games then be sure that you cancel your matchmaking or else you will get kicked out of your current match so just keep that in mind and tell your teammates that as well and then another change that we have is new ways to get season xp so in season one the only way that you could get xp was from completing the challenges and this made it feel kind of like a grind aspect and way more of a grind aspect than it will be now because now you're able to just finish games win them and evacuate from each of the games and you're going to get fortuna pass for just playing games it's not going to be having to go and just complete a ton of challenges and just rely on the daily challenges the weekly challenges and the seasonal challenges so now it should be a lot easier to level up that fortuna pass then all of these they're not really too important until we get down to the zeal contract because the zeal contract did get nerfed just basically the points just changed from these levels to these so this is how much you need to get a contract done so first scale move from 250 to 280 second 480 to 550 and then the last one 690 to 800 and then you guys get the ideas and also if you guys want to go back and look at some of these i'm going to have the link to this release notes down in the description down below so be sure to check that out and then also we have just a new virtual training mode i guess they just updated it and then moving on we have vehicle changes so the vehicle basically increased its movement speed, and then it increased its speed boost. It increased its direct damage, but then it decreased its health just by 150, so it's not too badly. And then it also removed the ability to double and triple jump while you are wearing the quick suit because that used to be a thing. And then another thing, like down here, you just reduce the aggro value of down but not out from mobs. So now you are more likely to survive the down but not out stage whenever you get knocked by mobs and enemies aren't around. You should just be able to run away from them or crawl away from them. And so that's all really right here. Now we can move on to the kit changes that we get with the brand new season. So right away, you can see that the Boxer Warsuit got buffed. It increased regeneration rate from 20 to 48, so it regens health like crazy. And then it also decreased the regeneration delay from 7.5 to 6, so now you're going to be regenerating health even faster. And then with the Annie Quick Suit, we got the same thing. We increased regeneration rate from 20 to 30, and then we decreased the regeneration delay from 7.5 to 6. And that's the case with, I believe, all of the mods. It's from 7.5 two six just because you're gonna want to get that regenerating health even faster now because the mods or the kits that you chose did feel very squishy as most of the community was talking about like you literally could not regenerate any of your health and then we can see that with the ninja slide on the quick suit the slide is made a little bit shorter and then the extra charge kit mod was adjusted the maximum slide speed from 0.75 to 0.97 so now you're moving even faster but it's all going to depend on when you jump out of the slide that's going to basically affect that the most and then moving on we have the dragonfly flight suit so they basically just tweak the sound effects and then we also see an increase of the regeneration rate the same decreased regeneration delay and then with the jetpack charge they adjusted the slam angle from 35 to 40 so this means that it's going to be a bit steeper and then it has a minimum distance from 800 to 900 and then they dis decreased jetpack charge in air wait time from 0.6 to 0.4 and now the jetpack dive angle mod now adds 10 degrees rather than 30 percent and then we have the basic kit we increased the regeneration we decreased regeneration delay and then we increased regeneration rate again and then we increased the regeneration delay from 6 to 12 and that's with the health because these were all shields we're not really affecting the health now we're just working on shields but with this one we increased the health and then the jetpacks it decreased fuel consumption from 55 to 45 and we increased the jump velocity from 650 to 750 
And that is it for the kit changes. Now we are moving on to the weapon and ability changes. So these are basically all of like the small details that went into it. I'm not going to go over every single weapon. I'm just going to go over more of the OP weapons, I'm going to say, and just the most important, like I did with the miscellaneous ones. So right away, we can see they just changed the name of stem boost to health boost. And that just kind of helps clarify, I guess. And then with weapon mods, the scoped, they removed negative targeting times, removed weak spot modifiers, and removed weapon equip times. And then moving to the weapons, one huge detail that we can see is that the knife was decreased damage against prospectors from 150 to 80, so you're dealing even less damage to prospectors now. And then we can see the Carla, one of the very overpowered weapons in the more recent weeks. They increased the default weapon spread from 0.1 to 10, increased the weapon spread decrease speed from 15 to 20, increased the weapon spread maximum from 12 to 15, decreased the weapon spread decrease since last shot time from 1.4 to 0.5. So I never really used the Carla, so I don't really know what those numbers mean. But if you did use the Carla, just keep in mind that the weapon might be a bit worse now just because we are increasing spread and then you're decreasing speed as well to the spread. And then with the precision chamber, it changed the weapon spread increase rate from 0.75 and then to a maximum of 0.6. And then with the shatter gun, we have, so basically the shatter gun was OP using the quick suit with it. You were just able to slide in and headshot people, just automatically destroy people's health. So right away, you can see we have a default spread reticle adjusted, increased refire time from, from 1.45 to 1.55. So now it's gonna take longer for you to fire that weapon. Reduced direct damage fallout start range from 1,000 to 500, and then increased direct damage fallout end range from 2,000 2, to 2,500. So now if you're further back, you're gonna be dealing even less damage. Reduced direct damage falloff multiplier from 0.8 to 0.55, so even less damage for those far away lengths and then decrease ammo count from five to four. And then the unstable material mod lowered the spread of the mod. And then moving on to the scrapper, we can see that it decreased the direct damage from 38 to 34, decreased direct damage fallout start range from 1000 to 750. And then it decreased direct damage falloff end range from 3000 to 2500. And then with the burst mode, it adjusted the function of the mode so it's not auto fully automatic. And basically it's the same thing as like a burst rifle. Any of those, you just click in, then three shots or multiple shots will automatically go and then you have to click it again. And then that's basically it over here with the um, weapon and ability changes. But if you guys do wanna go in detail with all these other weapons, be sure to check the link in the description and then of course there are still known known issues the game has not fully released we are now in early access but the game is still in development so if there are bugs be sure to let them know either in the discord or with the bug submission in the actual game but guys it's gonna wrap it up for today's video and i hope that it did help you guys out if it did be sure to hit that like button and subscribe because we are producing so much season two content in these upcoming days so have those notifications on so you don't ever miss an upload. And that is going to wrap it up, guys. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.